to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position M on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position Q on the green scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. For planter and dorsiflexion we will need the ankle adapter and the footplate. These are often left attached to one another. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. For the right side rotate the chair to 50 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. For the prone position, adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 55 degrees on the black scale. Then adjust the height to 3. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 38. Install the ankle adapter into the short end of the dyno input arm. Ensure the tube is facing away from the seat. Pull the locking pin to slide into place, then secure with the handle. Now attach the footplate to the ankle adapter using the right PF slash DF point. Slide fully into place then secure with the screw. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lay prone on the chair. Adjust the monorail and dynamometer height, so the foot will contact the footplate. Before fully securing the foot to the footplate, adjust the axis of rotation. The axis of rotation for plantar and dorsiflexion is set. Once the lateral malleolus is opposite the black dot on the dynamometer input arm, adjust for length by loosening the footplate and extending or shortening the position. Note it may be easier to move the subject rather than the chair. Adjust for height by loosening the ankle adapter and extending or shortening the tube. Ensure all screws are fully secured before proceeding. Now attach the thigh strap to the leg to be tested. Pull the strap to tension, but do not leave her into place. To secure the foot to the footplate start by loosely affixing the straps across the foot. Then adjust the strap points to the widest part of the foot. Pinch together, making sure they are firmly pressed into the foot. Then lock in place using the screw. Finally tighten the straps making sure to tighten the uppermost strap first. Finally, if required, 
Attach the lap belt by looping around the chair handles. The subject may also use the long handles on the chair back to aid stability.